What's up guys, the Jordan here, back again with another pre-built deck review. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the last deck, which is Alab Alabaster Shield, which is a Havencraft Wave 2 pre-built. Um, so, sh after the, the patch change, or the patch update, you can now buy all the Wave 2 decks. So as you can see, comes with Rise of Bahama and Tempest of the God cards. And yeah, they have all 7 crafts here. The first the first time you buy the pre deck, it's 500 crystals. After that, it's 750. And you can buy it up to 3 times. So, yeah. Um, just like in all their reviews, I'm going to be reviewing mainly the Golden and Legendary cards. Because you probably have most of the Silver and Bronze cards if you're a newer or casual player. And that's all you're interested in anyways if you want to buy a pre deck most of the time. So with this deck, you get Heavenly Aegis as your um, animated alternate art legendary. And this is actually a really good pickup because Aegis is a Havencraft. They play decks revolving around this card. Or sometimes you can even just run Aegis in just as a beat stick and curve out into him. So it's not too uncommon to see like a Storm Haven or like a neutral haven and then they can throw in like two aegises just to play on turn 9 especially if the board's been fighting then you drop out 9 and you just win on like turn 10 so um aegis really good pickup obviously is a really great card in haven probably one of the most um favored favored uh win condition that haven runs it's between aegis and seraph but like i do see aegis a lot more often than seraph because you don't have to run all those countdown cards so you get that um, your other legendary is Dark Je Dark Gene, Dark John, wh whatever you want to pronounce it. Um, really good pickup as well. John's good for um, aggro decks. I've seen it be run in like Storm Haven just for the extra burst damage. Could be also used as clear. Um, I've also seen it in decks where they just play it because they want the two damage AOE. So Dark John's also a really good pickup. Both of these legendaries are playable cards. Uh, for the golden cards, you get a Zo. Zoe, Queen of Godinia, um, she's not really played. I have seen a couple of people try to run her, but she, yeah, she's not that great because her effect, you can't control her effect. So if you have anything else on the board, sometimes she just kills your own followers, which is like counterintuitive. So you get one of her, but she's not seen too much play right now. You get a Tribunal, which is a pretty good golden card. Um, played in Aegis decks, played in Seraph decks, played in no regular control. Uh, sometimes you even run it in like a temple based mid range haven list. So, Tribunal is a very good pickup, very solid card. Kills two followers for four costs, which is really good value. You get a Judge of Retribution. This is also a pretty good pickup. A solid golden card that's been run in control havens, um, Aegis haven. Pretty much anything that's not like Stormhaven. I I think even in Stormhaven you could run this card, but you'd rather play Garuda's. But yeah, Judge of Retribution, very solid pickup here. And then you get Luxhorn Sarissa. She's not really seen any play. Uh, has a decent effect. It's just that you have better options on 7. Like oh, The most popular right now is Curate. So people just rather play that over Luxhorn. So yeah, overall, if you're going to be... Oh yeah, okay. And you also get a Tarnished Grail. This is like another win condition that Haven runs, but hardly anyone ever plays Tarnished Grail. I think there was like a time where some people tried it out, but it never really picked up traction. So again, it's not that great of a golden card for you to get. Um, especially because you're getting Aegis anyways. You'd rather just be playing Aegis decks rather than Grail decks. So overall, would I recommend p buying this deck? I probably would not recommend buying it just because you have better options like dragon and shadow were really are were much better gold much better pre-builds the only reason why you would probably want to buy this haven pre-built is if you need a copy of Aegis or you need a copy of dark john or both like i would probably buy this pre-built deck because i only have two Aegises and i crafted both Aegises. so if i ever want to play three for some reason then i could i could buy this and complete my play set other than that i think i only have target two dark johns as well so i will complete my place on the legendary so it's kind of worth the 500 crystals for me but other than that um yeah unless you really want to play haven and you don't have any haven cards then it could justify picking this up otherwise you could look into the other pre-boats 
But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll play one game with this deck. And but if you like this video, make sure you give that a thumbs up and subscribe as well as follow me on my social media links down below in the description. Thanks for watching guys and see you guys next time. Peace. Uh is it worth keeping damage? Probably not. Just throw it all back. Earth rights. No play here. You do have double scriptures, so that's not bad to deal with um if he had a mad illusion this turn. We just scripture that so we don't take any chip damage. That's probably doing this turn. Pretty weak. I play the Octo Bishop. Evolving the Strap Golem. This hand must be really bad. Wow, okay. Piercing Ring? Not even. I guess we want to just load up in the followers here. I think the game plan is just go for a Tarnished Grail, right? Oh man, it's so slow though. We do have some like slow cards like Tribunal and Iron Maiden to slow the game down. I'm very curious what he has in his hand right now. I don't want to waste like the Tribunal Iron Maiden tick. Maybe it was worth it to play the Maiden and set up the Grail better. Meh. Was there like a lack of followers in this deck? <laughs> Drawn like so many um, amulets and spells. We need like three followers, four followers. going to throw down Levy here. I'm not sure if I could Grail actually. It's kind of sketchy. I think I'll set up the Maiden this turn. And then that way I could Grail and hopefully clear the board with the combination of the Grail damage and the Maiden. Or also if I draw Aegis, it wouldn't be bad. So the Grail finishes off. Would I rather set board? I don't think so. I think I want to put the Grail on as soon as possible. And I have my Tribunal to kill whatever he plays next turn anyways, so... Missing out on an Iron Maiden tick isn't too big of a deal for me. I still have Acolytes, Light, Ancient Iron Spirit, and Scripture in my hand as well. So I have like tons of utility. Hmm. Just a 50-50 there. 
Just not too big of a deal. I think I'll just accolade slide it. I get banished that way too, so you can't even um, resurrect it. I'll go for the veteran tamer as well, set up the, set up the amulet. Also, I might want like the AOE from the Lion Spirit. Hmm. Dark John and Maiden, but that doesn't clear the taboo. Dark John in scripture. Say my evil is this way. Can we can join fault? Is he dead next turn? <laughs> I get my actually yeah, I get my grail off it and I get the damn damnation. So if he doesn't clear the rat, I just kill him. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Oh